Good morning and welcome in. I am the Canadian trucker Rudy and I am here with Diego. I'm Trucker's Rudy's son. Well, thank you guys for joining my channel and stay tuned for the rest of my day. in Saskatchewan overnight and at the co-op there just beside the co-op they got a Tim Hortons in there and I met up with a fella that drives for uh, Penner International as well his name is Barry and uh, I won't say his last name but uh, anyways we went over to Tim Hortons we had some uh, breakfast up in there. Yes. But he's a little bit uh, shy for the cameras. He doesn't like to be in front of a camera or or even have a picture taken of him, you know? So uh, we respect that, so we don't do any of that. Anyways, we had ourselves two, two extra large Tim Hortons coffee. That was awesome. Had me like a sandwich up there and a Boston cream donut. Oh yeah, that was fantastic. Anyways, he's behind me right now and we're convoying along here. Oh, as you can probably see, it's 117 kilometers to uh, to Regina. That's about 107. No, that's 100. 117 kilometers is uh, about 70 miles about 72 miles maybe somewhere around there and we'll be in Regina Saskatchewan and I actually chose to come along highway 1 instead of going along highway 16 because of uh, me knowing that he was coming this direction too he was leaving a little bit later in Winnipeg than I left so uh, I knew he was going to catch up with me and uh, so we met up in Musumin this morning and uh, I had purchased a cell phone single booster for him on eBay there a couple of weeks ago and uh, so since I knew I was going to meet up with him over there I uh, took that along. I, my wife brought it along yesterday to Winnipeg. I gave that to him and he gave me the money for it. And, uh, while we're cruising along he's going to Calgary and uh, I'm going to Winnipeg, I mean uh, Edmonton. I almost said Winnipeg. <laughs> I wasn't Winnipeg yesterday, but anyways, it's pretty flat up here in uh, Saskatchewan, as you can probably see, but uh, it's still on the cooler side. Uh, buddy there, he said uh, he had hurt, uh, hurt through his hand or something like that, that uh, supposedly there is a snowstorm coming towards Calgary, so hopefully it won't be too bad. Oh well, so far so good. We had a little bit of sunshine there a little bit earlier, but now it's gotten cloudy. Yeah, so we can probably expect to see some snow later on today. But anyways, nothing we can uh, handle. At least I hope so, and if we can't handle it, we will just park the truck. So it goes. Yep. Anyways, I'm kind of curious on uh, what he's going to say about the cell phone single booster. He said he's going to set it up later on today and test it out and see how it does. He said he's going to stop up there in uh, Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan and put some fuel in and put it up. And he's going to test it out to see how it works for his phone. Now, I haven't gotten the... Uh, 
the bigger antenna like I have for me for him yet he wants the same antenna but that antenna is a bit difficult to get and so we'll see we'll see if I get it anytime soon I uh, I asked trucker jukebox to uh, well, he actually offered I talked to him about that and uh, I got mine in Freezy Wood Pennsylvania and he said he go through there quite often so he uh, actually offered to uh, if he were to go through there in the next couple of weeks he would uh, pick me one up and so if that's the case then uh, he'll get me one but anyways if not hopefully I go through there in the next couple of weeks then I can pick it up if not then uh, I guess I'll look on eBay and see if I can find that exact type of antenna for him and I'll order it off of eBay. Yeah. But let's have ourselves a good day. I hope you guys are having a good day. I ho always hope that uh, I can entertain you guys and uh, maybe make you guys smile or cheer you guys up a little bit. At least I'm always trying. <laughs> Welcome to Saskatoon guys, we are in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, yep, and we are about to make the turn to go back on Highway 16, I'm basically going through Saskatoon right now, oh I just about went through it already, <laughs> but uh, anyways, it's a gorgeous day out here right now. It was a bit more cloudier earlier, but it looks like it's starting to clear up. I'm hoping it does the same thing for my friend Barry there that's traveling on Highway 1. Keep to the left on Highway 16 west of that I was a bit scared that he might be getting, well not scared, I shouldn't use that word. But he was uh, not too happy about getting snow further down the road. He wasn't too happy about that like uh, he was off the last couple of weeks and he said he's going to the Philippines there and uh, and two weeks from now and he was hoping that he would have another two weeks of good uh, weather driving before he was going to go over to the Philippines and uh, yeah so he was hoping he could do that oh well if you can't you can't I suppose Tanker wants to get onto the highway too. Anyways, we got the Husky truck stop just up here. And we also do have a Flying J down here. I don't think I'm going to stop. I don't really feel the need to stop right now. I just want to get to Edmonton. I still have 530 clicks to go. Kilometers that is. That's about five and a half hours drive, especially going through the towns and all that, so it's definitely five and a half hours drive, so yeah, so we are just fixing to leave Saskatoon. Oh, it says plus one Celsius up there, so that's about 33 Fahrenheit up here right now. It's a little bit on the cool side, but... Nothing that we're not used to here in winter time. Stays pretty cold here for quite a while. Usually till the end of May. Continue on this road for one hundred twenty-nine yep. kilometers. Talk to uh, Trucker Jerry there a little bit ago. And he's saying the grass is all green up there in this area. He lives south of uh, Chicago, there on fifty-seven. And he. Uh, we did a barbecue uh, video yesterday challenging me, yes, he did challenge me with barbecue, and it was good, it worked, he made me hungry, yes it did, yeah, oh well, I still think my rib, beef rib barbecue is still better than a hamburger, but, yeah well, Hot dogs and uh, hamburgers isn't too bad either, I guess. He had some uh, corn with that. I love that idea. That's a good idea. A 
I love corn myself. Anyways, I have some very exciting news. I have officially hit 500 subscribers today, guys. Thank you very, very much for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate every single one of you guys. That means a lot to me. I never ever thought that I would even get to 100 subscribers, never mind 500 subscribers. So thank you guys. That just shows me that you guys do uh, like my videos. And I must be doing something, right? Obviously not everybody is going to like my videos, but you can't please everybody, I guess. But a big thumbs up for me anyways. I'm very happy about it. And I know Trucker Jukebox has been growing quite a bit lately too. I'm happy for him too. I am the type of guy that I am never jealous of anybody else's success. I love it when somebody else has success. Especially if they're in the same uh, business that I am trucking and uh, making YouTube videos and uh, I'm happy for him I love it I love it when uh, friends of mine are successful or even if they're not friends of mine uh, it's nice to see if you're successful because we all want to be successful out here and we're always proud of our success you know I am proud of the success that I have had already on YouTube and with my personal business as a truck driver or trucking industry I am very happy with the success that I have had and I'm also always happy if somebody else has success because uh, without success we wouldn't be happy and without no success nobody would have a job out here you know if these businesses out here wouldn't be successful, there wouldn't be any jobs. But anyways, that's just my two cents of it. Let's get down the road and have ourselves some fun. How many of you guys have to work on a Sunday? Well, I do. So is this shipper. Yeah. As you can see. I mean receiver as you can see I am backed into the dock I am in Edmonton and they're unloading me yes and it is Eastern Sunday so it is Sunday and we are getting unloaded huh. there ain't that many places that actually do that but most of us truckers we have to work on a weekend no matter if it's Eastern weekend, Remembrance Day, some of us work on Christmas Day, no matter what the holiday is, we truckers, we have to work on the weekend. And that's just part of the life as a trucker. Yep. Anyways, got nothing better to do, so I figured record something. <laughs> Oh, well, I guess we're just having fun. Close my window. It's getting cold out there. Yes, sir. It's cold outside. I wish it was warm like uh, Trucker Jerry was saying. It's like nice green grass already and all that stuff, you know. I don't see no green grass up here in Canada yet. Yeah, there might be some in Quebec or maybe in British Columbia, but I haven't been there lately. <laughs> oh, well, that's the way it goes. He said he'll have me unloaded in about 45 minutes, which probably will be an hour and a half. The usual stuff, right? <laughs> and then hopefully we'll go to the truck stop and hopefully there will be parking available for me. If not, I'll have to hunt for parking. There's plenty of parking up here. You can probably see. 
plenty of parking up here, but uh, they usually don't like us parking up here very much, so we'll try and go to the truck stop. Yep, I like to go to the truck stop anyways, but anyways, enough of that. Hopefully we get ourselves unloaded here soon and we'll be able to go to the truck stop before it's all plugged up. Alrighty guys, we managed to get unloaded. Yes siree. It took just about what I told you guys it probably would. About an hour and a half and we were done unloading. Yeah. So I went over here to the Flying J. I don't know how good you're going to be able to uh, to see it, but hey, we went over to the Flying G and uh, just had me a nice bite to eat up here, and uh, well, I set up my laptop back there, and I think it's going to be movie night. Yes, I think I'm going to go watch me a movie. I don't have a reload yet, so... Uh, We'll be watching some movies, pro, or at least we're probably going to watch one movie and then uh, go to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog, and we shall see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. So thank you very much for watching. <laughs>